on your Jin can kill it. It feels like Jin can. Jin can actually just solo lobby. I don't really feel though that he needs snipe a sniper trait. I feel like what he needs more is more time. Because he, in most of the cases, only at the start of the game, you're gonna get the bonus. And then the rest of the fight, someone will be at his face all the time. So, it feels like what you need to do is play, an example, four vanguards, four mystics, and a djinn. And that's it. Right? At least in my mind, that should be that should be good. And obviously, it's easy to to fit Chrono in that. Yeah, yeah Chrono, of, of course. Chrono, because what I meant is he needs time to go off with Chrono. You have always Wukong. You need at least Wukong for that, right? And you can play like two Vanguards. And the second Chrono will be Shen, because his Shen is one of the best tanks in the game. So you play two Vanguards, a Shen, and then you get just add four Mystics and Jin. And your frontline is consisting of, of like two vanguards, so Wukong and, and a random vanguard. Probably Jace, because he's the best. People fall in the trap of getting Chrono and Darkstar, but it's completely overkill. You might be right about needing that needing sniper. Wait, is, is there a website that has uh, currently the builds from set three? Um Let me check. Will you play next? No, I'm finishing for today. I love your YouTube gameplays and I've learned many useful things from you. Thank you, Nuts in Spania. Wait, do we have set free here? Here we go. So it's like we put this guy here. Uh we take. Right, what do we need? Let's go through this website entirely. We need Karma. Leona or... I mean, Jay is better, so... How do I delete this? Drag it to champion list. Okay. Um, Not needed. I mean, Lulu. Lulu is like endgame. We don't need it... You don't need it before, but... I guess that's fine. Shen, Sona, Soraka, Sona, Wukong. I'm missing Jace. Right? Where's Jace? Am I blind? Yeah. Oh my god, this artwork. So, we have Jace, we have Wukong. Then we have Shen, and depends on the build of your opponents, you position them up, like either this way or this way. Because you need Wukong to always go off. So it depends if someone can one hit him from the right side. If it if you don't, then you put him here. If you if someone can kill him, then you need him here. Shen is the best tank in the game, so he might be actually worth investing into items. Like three defensive items. You don't need Caitlyn here. That's my opinion. Like from the mystics. Uh, what, what is the fifth mystic? Am I missing something? I'm missing something. There's a fifth mystic that I'm missing. Sona, Soraka, Lulu, Kama. Uh, there are four? Are there four? I can't remember yet. Maybe there are four. Yes, instead of Jace, you can play Mordecai and you have Dark Sun. That is true. That is true. And that is actually true. So instead of Jace, although I like Jace more. And honestly, I feel like. I honestly feel like this Dark Star is not really that needed. I don't think it's that needed. I feel like Jace will be better than Mordekaiser anyway. You know?
But anyway, I would really try out this, this composition. I don't think he needs Sniper. Like, with this kind of build, he has really fantastic, like, survivability. Survivi so, you know, he will survive a lot, right? You can even do this. If you have good items on Shen, you can do it like this. This way. You can add Ash at 9 for Celestial Sniper if you make it that far. True, true. True. It's kind of easy also to pivot into this. Because I don't think... Like, what you can do is you, you, you just play 4 Vanguards in the early game. You don't need, like... You can only save Karma, because Karma is always good with any AD carry. So you can... What I like about this... You can easily pivot. You play any Vanguards in the beginning of the game, and any other carry can be... Uh, like, what is the possibility? You can play Ari. You can play... Caitlyn. You can play Darius, even. If you have Jace early, you can play Darius and use him for items. Then you have Ezreal, which is also great. You have possibilities like... What else is there? I mean, Jinx is a 4, so you would rather have Jin. Lucian is great. Master is an option as well. Well, that's about... Oh, I mean, you can also play Xayah. Maybe not even 6 for the very early game. So you can switch later to a tier 2 unit. Or tier 3. But in general, I feel like this is one of the compositions that you can really, really, really easily pivot into. If you have good items for it. Because you can either start from Blade Masters. Or for 4 Vanguards. And then pivot into the Jin From anything. And at the last time. Last stage at... At... Uh, at Mystics. Anyway. Anyway. We're gonna see how that goes. I, w I would really like to try it out. Maybe tomorrow. Well, I'm not sure if I will play tomorrow. But if not tomorrow, then on Monday. What about core items? You can do whatever. In my opinion. On Jin, I'm not sure actually which items Jin needs, but I feel like he needs Bloodfirst, and that's about it. Core items on Shen? Oh, on Shen? On Shen, I would say it's um, a few possibilities. Like, you can play Bramble Vest, Warmox, Dragon Claw. Mm, what else is good is if you play, like, Frontal Position, then you can also play Lockets. And you can actually play... when If you have multiple lockets... Let's say you have... Triple lockets or double lockets, right? Then you actually take... Uh, Soraka and Sona here. And you put the composition this way. And you probably put it this way as well. So your Karma always gets the bonus to Jin. Your frontline has... Is actually very powerful. Blitzcrank always takes those two. And never Jin. Well, unless someone has a Zephyr, then you need to change. But probably I would actually do this. Get Vukong from the right. If I would actually do this comp do it this way, I would put Vukong on the right. Because if I if he would be on the left, and he would ult and go on the right and lose aggro from creatures from this side, they would actually start attacking those. So you need something that will live the longest on the left side, here. So Mordekaiser and Soraka would be the best options. And then Vukong from the right side will go to the left side and enforce this, this flank. But that's only a possibility if you have multiple lockets. One locket is not enough. I would say with two lockets you can do this shit. 
Then all the defensive items that we can do are... Uh, I would say... Man, Frozen Heart is not terrible, but it's it's like, okay. Garden Angel is also fantastic for Shen. Because Shen's ult is then persistent, even when he dies. So that's fantastic. And then level 3 Shen has 6 seconds ult, which is absolutely insane. What's your opinion on Sona? I think Sona is insane. Sona is really good. Sona is really good, and if, if she has double Seraphs, she's very valuable. I'm not sure exactly what how she works, because there are two possibilities. Either... Um... Either you, she uses the debuff, sorry, the cleanse first and then heals. So, so turn, turn us off every Grievous wound and then heals. But if, if, it's, uh, if it works the other way around, so if she heals first and then debuffs, cleanses debuffs, then it's not that great. But it's still, if she has double self, it doesn't really matter much. But in general, I feel like Sona is really good. The problem with Sona is that she is not great early game. Because if you invest into early game Sona, then you probably lack a carry. And I feel like what you need to invest into early game is just either brawlers or vanguards and and a carry, not a Sora, not a Sona. She doesn't really help that much and sinks six gold from economy. So I'm not a fan of buying her early. That's about it. But from other defensive items like Titan's Resolve on Shen is also okay if you have Guardian Angel. I would only build it. If I, if I have a Guardian Angel, I can think about Titan's Resolve, but otherwise I wouldn't build, build it. Mm. Protector wouldn't be bad for him as well. To be honest. What else? Trap Claw was pretty good. I like Trap Claw. Warmogs are all obviously insane. Like, one of my favorite builds is just... this if this is a three star shen and has three warmogs he's unkillable he will heal for six seconds uninterrupted so this is like absolutely bonkers of course even two warmogs is insane and you can use whatever as a third slot like i don't know let's say bramble vest this i played with i had a two star shen with this setup and he lived through almost every single fight. He was dying last. If I was losing, he was dying last. And then if you have a build like this, you can do shit like that. Basically like this. He doesn't care. You need to also, like, you need to kind of think about Zephyrs and shit. If there's a Zephyr, you probably want to switch it around and play around it all the time so he doesn't get Zephyr, but the Mordekaiser gets Zephyr. But to be honest, I don't think Darkseid is needed. I don't think Darkseid is needed for Jin. If he has good damage items, I don't think he is needed, you know? It's like what he needs is um, just damage items. I don't even think Rage Blade is that good. Every single attack from Rageblade a adds 8 attack. Right? 8 attack. So... I mean, it kind of scales with Kronos. But I'm not certain if just Deathblade isn't better on him. Because Deathblade starts with 2 stacks, which is 60 damage from the beginning of the game. And that's insane. So I think he doesn't need Rageblade... He just needs Bloodfist, uh, Deathblade, and probably, I would say, uh, where is it? Trap Claw. Maybe that would be one of the builds that I would like to, to try out. Trap Claw is actually very good because there's so many, so many, um, CC that will target him, you know? And it will turn off that spell and stun the guy that was stunning him instead. So it's like a reversal. So I like that a lot. QSS will all be also be fine, but I feel like actually Trap Claw is better. In most cases.